Hello everybody and welcome to your Mansfield's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the sign of Cancer. My dear friends Cancer, this is your weekly love tarot reading. I'm using two different tarot decks. I'm using one oracle deck to come and conclude it. What we're looking for here is what are those blessings? What are those challenges? Really, what is the situation like into your love life this week? That being said, if you do have any questions whatsoever, because it is a general reading, if it doesn't resonate with you or if you have any questions, please do come and meet us during our live streaming every single night on YouTube from 9 Eastern Standard Time all the way till midnight. So for three hours straight, we just answer your questions. So please do come and visit us tonight. Other than that, if you have not yet clicked onto that like button, onto that subscribe button, please do click onto those buttons. And I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, let's go and find out, my dear friends, Cancer. What's going to happen this week? What do we have to look out for? Let's go see. Spirit, please do give me. Please do give me that clarification, Spirit. What is happening for our friends Cancer this week? Please, Spirit, let me know. Please do tell me. Tell me what is going on for our friends Cancer this week. And here we go. Let's go and find that out. I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to remove that one. We have the Knight of Cups, followed by the Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. We have the Three of Wands, I have the Ten of Cups, and we're going to conclude with the Three of Pentacles. So, at first glance, good news. I do see that there, you know, that there's some sadness, but the good news is that even though there is that sadness, there is that feeling of being kind of left out, being stabbed, being betrayed, or just really being sad about the relationship, about where this is going, about maybe a conflict that arose not too long ago. The good news is this one. Along with it comes the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is saying, you know what? I'm willing to work onto this relationship. Your partner is willing to work onto this relationship, willing to work to rectify, rectify the wrong, rectify the pain. Say, I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt you. I did not want to hurt you. It's about getting back into our own power. It's about knowing the worth of this relationship. It's about knowing the worth of this relationship emotionally also and holding on to it, holding on to it and thinking about all of the beautiful possibilities. I say that because next up I have the Seven of Cups, which is truly all about those beautiful possibilities. What is next? Is it moving in together? Is it getting a dog or a cat? Or is it marriage? Is it children? What is that next step coming for you into your relationship? This is what this card is trying to say here. So I have to say, although we're not necessarily, we're looking at all of the possibilities towards the future, what we could do into the short term. Into the long term, we're not quite there yet. So if you are wondering, you know, um, a very long term, are we going to be together in 10 years or in five years? Or mm, I don't feel like your partner's really looking at that right now. I feel like we're living today the way that we are and we're just kind of moving forward with that and I do see that it is quite positive as I said I do see some sadness but I see some wanting to repair some wanting to listen some wanting to share some cooperation and that makes all the difference between a relationship that's going to last or a relationship that's going to break so if your communication is there good for you let me go and get a little bit more of clarification coming from the other tarot deck over here let's go see Please, Spirit, please, Spirit, do give me some clarification on what is going on for our friends Cancer over here. It is looking good. Spirit, please do give us some clarification for our friends Cancer. What do our friends Cancer need to look out for? Or what are these beautiful blessings? I'm seeing a lot of love. I'm seeing a lot of cooperation. I'm seeing wanting to move together into the same direction. Wanting to say something that not everybody says. Wanting to say 
I'm sorry. This is about moving, moving towards into moving towards your future with certainty, with beauty, with poise, and knowing that creativity and new beginnings and new starts are going to be available into this relationship. The Eight of Pentacles is telling me that, you know, you've worked really, really hard up until now. I feel like both of you have put a lot of effort into this relationship, but it's not going to be in vain. Okay, all the work, everything that has been put into this relationship is there for a reason. It is giving you, it is building you that very strong foundation that you need and that you are going to actually be utilizing right away with this I'm sorry, and I want to look at the different possibilities that are available for us into this relationship, into the positive, of course. So this is about moving forward with that. But I feel like we're not moving forward with the different possibilities or anything like that. Not quite right away. You need to leave that a little bit more time. But this is truly about moving towards that positive. This is about right now, Let's analyze, let's see what we can do to make this relationship better, to make it last, to make it go really far. So quite frankly here, I am seeing a lot of beauty. I do see, as I said, a little bit of pain. I do see a little bit of sorrow. I do see that the, you know some modifications can be necessary, but what relationship doesn't? What is really important here is that everybody wants to work together. Everybody is willing to recognize where there's been something wrong that has been done or something good that has been done. So I feel as though you're both looking into the same avenue right now. You're both looking down the same path, although you don't necessarily want to utter the words, the words of where will we be in five years from now. So Spirit, please do give me some messages. What messages do I have for our friends cancer here today what are these messages first one coming out is about that beautiful innocence it's about letting yourself just be be with no filter be as this you know young little I'm not going to say a couple but these young little kids here just live just don't think about everything else that's going around if you want that hug go grab that hug if you want that kiss go get that kiss this is about living life right here right now and not always analyzing and thinking about everything that's going to come along. This is about seizing that moment. This is also about listening and looking at your shadow self. It's important to always look at your shadow self to really figure out what you truly want and sometimes to try to understand also, is it something that maybe we, you know, brought upon that could have brought this conflict also or that could have enhanced this conflict. So it's always about looking onto that shadow side also. There's always an awful lot of information that is hidden there. And most importantly, it's about expressing yourself. It's about saying what is going on, how we feel, what we um, what we want as a transformation. What do we want as a metamorphosis for this relationship? So this is about expressing yourself. It's about communicating. It is the only way that you are going to get what you want. And quite frankly, I see beauty into this relationship. So this, my dear friends, does conclude your reading for this week. I do hope that you enjoyed. I hope that it resonated. If you do have any questions, once again, you would like some quick answers, please come and see me into the live tonight or every night from 9 till midnight, 9 p.m., of course, Eastern Standard Time. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button, or the like button. Have yourself the most beautiful day. Thank you for being there and many, many blessings out to you.